<laughs> Got my blind spot. Please you tell me you were rolling. Were yeah, you rolling? Ah! <laughs> All right, so we're in the middle of nowhere at an abandoned cheese factory, and we think this is going to be the perfect location to record gunshots from inside shooting through the window at some targets. So while we were in the UP, Rick wanted to get more than just one gun day. Rick's like, we need to shoot more guns. We're on an adventure, Charlie. So we went to an old abandoned cheese factory. It was uh, just an old building that was crumbled. Uh, apparently it used to be used for making cheese. It felt like I was playing Tomb Raider, but in real life. So it was a long walk with a lot of equipment, but we got there. Rick notices we didn't pack the noisemaker. So guess who got picked to schlep all the way back to the cabin just to pick up a noisemaker? That is a hike. Rick gets mad when we forget his favorite toy. Just put a big smile on his face. When we first got inside the cheese factory, we had to determine where we were going to be firing the guns from. Rick had a lot of ideas for different mic placements. I want an NT2A facing this direction. Let's put a stereo mic up there. Let's put the NTG8 right here. I want a shotgun mic right here, high, pointing slightly downward. It was interesting to see Rick select what he was actually going to shoot for some of the impact bullet sounds. Yeah, I want a mic on this, I want a mic on this bad boy. We actually placed mics up above behind him about 20 feet directly behind him, probably about eight feet. We had a couple by the targets we were shooting, and we had a couple pointing right from where the shooter's at, at the shooter. So we shot several guns at the cheese factory. We shot an AR-15. We shot a couple of pistols. We shot 12 gauge, 20 gauge. A 12 gauge, let me tell you something. If I was in a war, and they gave me a 12 gauge, I give it right back to him and say, you know what, I'm just gonna use harsh language. <laughs> Boris had a couple of guns. Had a pretty good variety of different firearms that we, we cycled through. You're supposed to let me check the levels after the first shot, you punk. <laughs> All right, you wanna do six more? Adjust on the fly, punk. If I'm moving the knobs, I actually feel like I'm working, like I'm actually doing something. You work? Sometimes I'll just adjust something, but it's just the headphone level, nobody really knows. This location definitely exceeded my expectation. I thought, hey, we're going to a cheese factory. What are we at in Wisconsin? Are we gonna be Packers fans now or something? But no, we went there and I was like, wow. So after we were done with shooting, we started walking down a trail that Boris was taking us on. So we actually found a metal barrel and Boris was making all these cool flips with it. We kept rolling it down the hill and it was giving some really cool sounds. Rolling the barrel down the hill was my personal favorite. After we captured all these sounds, Boris is like, I got a perfect spot that we can go to and check out. We went to this gorgeous beach and we watched the sunset from there. We started a fire and we sat there for most of the rest of the night. After we'd enjoyed the fire, Rick wanted to get down to business. Boris had a big thing of kerosene. We were just taking it and throwing kerosene on this bad boy, just making that fire go up, which only pleased me because I was freezing cold. Then Rick came up with a good idea to do some torch pass-bys, so they made a torch. Soaked the big rag and some uh, kerosene, tied it onto some sticks, and we did some torch pass-bys. Boris had taken a metal rake and done the same thing he had done to the fire poker. Only difference was there were nine torches in one. From the car, it looked really cool. I couldn't hear it, but it looked really cool. <laughs> it's chilly. Bunch of babies. It's not that cold out here. Oh my God, they're snuggling. <laughs> you gotta stay close to stay alive. You gotta keep it nice snuggling. Here, hold this. It'll make us all warm. You know what I heard him say to him a few minutes ago? What? And he was dead serious. He goes, now, now I know how Jack felt. 
at the end of the Titanic movie. <laughs> <laughs> there was a quote from me. And then Thumper looks at him and goes, will you draw me? <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I'm freezing. <laughs>